so hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we have a topic that is orgel diagram for d5 configuration you know d5 configuration is special in its own sense why is it so because you know in d5 if we talk about the ground state so there are five unpaired electrons in d5 configuration there are five unpaired electrons with parallel spin so its l value comes out to be zero in the ground state its capital l value comes out to be zero and s value comes out to be 5 by 2 because there are five unpaired electrons so in this way 2s plus 1 that is spin multiplicity comes out to be 6 so you know l0 means s state so ground state for d5 configuration is 6s ground state is 6s now if we have octahedral field in octahedral field d orbital split into d2g and eg so we have five electrons so five electrons in high spin complex because as we are talking about orgel diagram orgel diagram is applicable to high spin complexes only so in high spin you know there are three electrons in t2g two electrons in eg so that is the arrangement so see when this is the arrangement in high spin is there any spin allowed transition possible for d5 configuration answer is no there is no spin allowed transition possible for d5 configuration in high spin why is it so because you know t2g all the three electrons are up spin so same is the case with eg means all of them have the same spin so when one electron transition takes place one electron excited to from t2g to eg then there is a reversal of spin delta s you know that should be zero for spin allowed transitions in this case there is no such transition possible so all the transitions are spin forbidden transitions in this case so if one electron transition takes place you know in ground state there are five unpaired electrons So spin multiplicity that comes out to be 6. If one electron transition takes, takes place, see, let us find out first spin multiplicity. So in ground state, spin multiplicity is 6 because there are 5 unpaired electrons in ground state. So now in first excited state, one electron transition takes place from T to G to E G. Now there are three unpaired electrons. D5 configuration in free metal ion it is degenerate, but in octahedral field it split into T2G and EG, and now number of unpaired electrons are three. So spin multiplicity that is four. You know. Spin multiplicity is two s plus one, and if n number of unpaired electrons are there, then it it is n plus one, one more than the unpaired electrons. What is m? N is number of unpaired electrons. So spin multiplicity in first excited state when one electron transition takes place. 
then it is 4 and if 2 electron transition takes place then you know and 2 electron transition takes place it is like this there is only 1 unpaired electron then in second excited state then 2 electron excitation takes place then spin multiplicity comes out to be 2 so there are three spin multiplicity possible 6 4 and 2 right and in ground state you know it is 6s now in multiplicity 4 so keep in mind i am not going into detail p d f and g states are possible for p for d for f and for g these are the states possible in four multiplicity now in case of multiplicity 2 s p d f g h i these are the states possible in two electron transition then spin multiplicity is two so total states possible are there are 11 excited states possible for d5 configuration but we ignore two electron spin forbidden transition that is 2s 2p 2d 2f 2g 2h 2i because its intensity is very weak you know spin forbidden transitions their bands are extremely weak because all the transitions possible in d5 are spin forbidden transitions no spin allowed transition is possible okay so that's why we consider only one electron transition that is somewhat possible but two electron transition its probability is very very less so we neglect these states we take into account ground state and 4p 4d 4f and 4g right now you know in octahedral field s state will not split but it transforms into a1g and what about p state that will also not split but it transforms into p1g what about d state d state you know it split into eg and a2g and f state into a2g p1g and t2g and g state into eg a1g p1g and t2g so total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 states are possible and out of these 11 states you know this is ground state 6s is ground state 4p 4d 4f and 4g these are excited states so total excited states possible are That's why 10 weak absorption bands are possible. Why weak? Because they are all spin forbidden transitions. Right? Now, let us draw its orgel diagram. 6s is the ground state. Then it is 4g, 4p. D 
and at the end it is 4f that you should keep in mind that 6s then it is 4g 4p 4d and 4f now 6s state so keep in mind when we say this is the crystal field strength per centimeter and this is energy per centimeter okay so 6s state it does not split but it transform into 6a1g transforms into a1g and there is no effect of crystal field strength on 6s state okay it remains horizontal on the x axis same is the case with 4 eg and 4 a1g of g state same is the case with eg of d state or eg of d state for eg of d state for eg of g state and Or A to G of F state. The energy remains same with respect to the crystal field. Means it is independent. The energy is independent of the crystal field strength and slope of this line is zero. That means when we see the transition from 6a1g to 4eg and 4a1g, 6a1g to 4eg, 6a1g to 4a2g, the peaks are sharp because there is no energy difference on the change of crystal field strength. You know, otherwise, you know, ligands are vibrating about their mean position, they come closer or away from the metal orbitals and that's why there, there is a difference in crystal field due to these vibrations and their energy is also going up and down because of that so other peaks are broad like rest of the EG or T1G 42g they are lying downward and for f for t1g and for t2g they are rising up with respect to the crystal field theory and for t2g you know it is below the eg level and for p that is going up that is 4 p 1 g of p state this is for f state now see the 4 f state that is of higher energy so when electron transition takes place so electron transitions takes place from 6a1g to 4t1g lowest energy band then 6a1g to 4t2g of g state then 6a1g to 4eg 6a1g to 4a1g they are of almost same energy then 6a1g to 4t2g and 6a1g to 4eg. 
of D states. So these are the bands possible. Okay. Rest of the bands are also possible, but because but their intensity is very very weak. So these are the bands you will keep in mind. You can write all of them: 6A1G2, 4T1GP, 6A1G2, 4A2GF, 6A1G2, 4T1GF, 6A1G2, 4T2GF. But their intensity is very very low. So we can say bands are very weak. So we ignore them okay by writing the electronic spectra so these are the bands we will keep in mind and these are the significant this is the organ diagram for p5 configuration and because of these spin forbidden transitions most of the mn2 plus complexes are pale pink because here DD transition is not possible. Spin forbidden transitions are there. Okay, in high spin complexes like Mn H206 2 plus Mn F6 4 negative or even Fp3 plus complexes. Their colors are also very pale. They are pale. Violet, because in this case only spin forbidden transitions are possible when they are attached to the peak ligands. That's all about the organ diagram. I shown you how to draw this diagram. I hope you understood well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like the video, try my channel, share with your friends for that. It will be helpful for them as well. Thank you. Happy learning.